Welcome back. We are joined today by Kathy Sinclair from the Camels Arts Council for Art Exposed, which begins next week, I believe, in Camels. Jessica mm -hmm. Scott is one of the participating artists with one of her pieces here. In fact, it's beautiful. Thank you for being here today. Thank you. Thanks for having yes. us. Yes. This is an annual event, Art Exposed, opportunity to give artists a chance to be exposed a little bit. You got it, Susan. Yeah, this is our fifth year. So uh, we have this year, it's our biggest show yet, it's 200 pieces of artwork. So paintings, uh, drawings, sculpture, clay, jewelry, glasswork, fiber art. It's everything uh, you can imagine by local artists. And the old courthouse is going to be absolutely packed with artwork this year. Where are the artists coming in from? Does it have, do they have to be local? Is that a stipulation? Do they have to be from our region? Yeah, the TNRD area. And we've got artists of all levels. We've actually got a youth category this year as well. So uh, youth artists ages 10 to 16. And, uh, you know, artists who maybe have never shown their work in public before, as well as some artists who are kind of old pros. You'll mm -hmm. see a few uh, from familiar names this year. Okay. For sure. Jessica Scott, you are taking part this year. Is this your first kick, kick of the can or have you done this before? Uh, well, I've been in a gallery before in Newfoundland called the Red Ochre Gallery, but this is definitely my first collaboration uh, showing. So How I'm does it excited. feel to put it out there? Is it kind of nerve wracking? Yeah, you feel a little exposed, yeah. <laughs> pun intended. <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. I'm, I'm really excited. I'm hoping to get lots of exposure. Uh, yeah, and I'm sure that you will. And that's what's so great about this is that people get to see your work. Uh, you've brought with you one of your pieces here. Yeah. Uh, perhaps as we take a close up of it, you can tell us a little bit about it. Um, well, so it's kind of a, a journey of like the physical body. So the elephant represents kind of like everywhere that you've been and uh, all your attachments. And the tree is kind of representative of like the soul and how we can let go of all those attachments and kind of transcend time and space. And um, are all of your pieces quite similar in theme? Uh, they used to be. I've recently kind of moved into space and I've really started exploring the deep space pictures from NASA and kind of doing my own artistic representation of that with little hearts and eyes and tigers right. hidden in there. <laughs> will you get feedback as a result of being in this? Will yes. you actually talk to people or will you get written feedback? How does that work? Um, well, I've applied for a critique of nice. the work that I've submitted. Mm -hmm. yeah. Excellent. Yeah, so a key part of the show is giving artists some feedback. Um, not everyone has had a chance to go to school and study art, so we've got a team of three wonderful jurors, Vaughn Warren, who's a local graphic artist and carver, uh, Emily Hope, who's a, a local artist, and Katie Brennan, who's an artist uh, from Lake Country and a curator as well. So really mm -hmm. nice team of collective mm -hmm. experience there and just giving some really helpful tips to the artists who have submitted their work this year. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Now, as a part of this as well, there's something going on, and I promoted this earlier, called the Boring Office Contest. And uh, here's an example of a boring office. Is this your office? Is this where you work day in and day out and it's a little bit gray? Wouldn't it be nice to spice it up? And here's some, sh this looks like something you might have done, Jessica. Is that you? No. <laughs> okay. Um, so these are pieces of art that may end up gracing an office around town that uh, needs some help. Exactly, Susan. We've got a new program this year. It's an art rental pilot project. So it's a three month trial and uh, some of the artwork will be available for rent at Art Exposed if you come and check it out. And uh, so you can apply for your favorite pieces if you know that it's gonna look beautiful uh, in your living room or maybe spicing up an office just like that then uh, you know you can uh, enter our boring office contest it's <laughs> on Facebook just search boring office right it'll come right up and uh, you will have a chance to win first prize is three pieces of artwork uh, awesome. for a three month period to spice up your office it could be a home office so any kind of workspace is eligible the that's deadline awesome. is Monday. I think that's great. So it's coming up quickly. People need to uh, enter soon if they're going to. And yeah. I have been chosen by you to be one of the judges. You, you certainly have. I'm and uh, Deb McClellan from the Chamber of Commerce and Jessica Wallace from Countless This Week uh, are your fellow judges. So mm -hmm. that'll be kind of fun. And uh, yeah, so choosing the most boring office to, to win the award. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. I wanted to enter the newsroom because we don't have any windows. So it would be nice to have some mm. artwork. But I think I'm automatically disqualified from entering, which I is fine. Might be bit of a conflict. It could be, indeed. <laughs> All right, we are out of time, but again, thank you, Jessica, for coming on the show and talking to us a little thank bit. You. And uh, Kathy, it sounds like uh, it's going to be a great time. It's going to be wonderful. So yeah. next Friday, 7 to 9 is our opening reception, and awards will be granted, uh, given out at that point as well, but it's going to be a wonderful evening. So. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay, information is on the screen. If you would like to get involved, it's going to be a great show, and uh, why not enter? You could have some beautiful artwork in your office. We're back in two minutes. Stay with us.